Hi, this is Paul Plant from Subtropical Gardening Magazine. This week we're going to talk about mulch, one of the most important things we can add to our garden. Soil is a valuable resource we have on earth and in our garden we have to protect it. There are two main things that we use in the home garden. One is an inorganic material and this generally tends to be rock or rubble so it doesn't break down. The other is organic from an organic source, so it's from a living plant, it breaks down over time, adds organic matter and humus. It's very good at encouraging the soil microflora, which means over time the plants grow better. There's a whole range of options available for us gardeners, we're going to talk about those, but first off, the main benefits of composting. Reduces watering, stimulates beneficial organisms, adds organic matter, reduces erosion, captures rainfall, suppresses weeds, and improves plant growth. The soil is a living organism and full of a lot of living creatures. And earthworms are a good example of this. The more earthworms you have, the better an indicator it is of the health of your soil. And we can improve that population with the usage of mulch. Generally with gardeners we tend to know about soil as being sandy, loamy or clay. With either of these we can add mulch to improve the soil and what that means is it will increase the population of earthworms and other beneficial organisms. There are some situations however where we have what's called a hydrophobic soil. What that means is that the water repels off the water. So we're going to have a look right now. If we just expose some of the soil and add water to it Ideally, we want the water to penetrate into the earth. If, however, it sits on the surface or runs away as it does with this, this is hydrophobic. Another one. Now, over time, and the addition of mulch, this improves the penetration of water into the soil. And sometimes we're misled by water penetrating. For example, if it's been raining for a week and we think we've had a lot of rain, what we need to do is to go out, dig the surface, and if the water has not penetrated a few centimetres down, it basically means you've got a hydrophobic soil. And that's when you need to add mulch to improve the water penetration into your soil. Leaf fall occurs 12 months of the year. And deciduous trees, they tend to fall most of their leaves at one particular time. The benefit we have is this constant supply of organic matter, which for gardeners, it's a freebie. Now what we do with it is we can either sweep it up and put them underneath the existing trees and shrubs and that provides a mulch layer or we can pile them up into a compost heap and break it down correctly and then add that into the soil and onto the garden beds. But how deep do we put it? The ideal depth is 10 to 15 centimeters. This provides the perfect insulation for the soil and protection throughout winter and summer. An alternative mulch are all the bales. This one's Rhodes grass, but you can also get loosened, which is the top of the range, as well as hay and straw. The simple process of these is when you lay it down, separate it into the brick. It's a very simple, easy method to spread it over a large area by separating it into these bricks. And if you're interested in a no-dig garden, it's one of the best ways to very fast create a garden with minimal maintenance and minimal digging. Sugarcane mulch is a very finely cut mulch product. It works well with young seedlings and vegetables. A living ground cover is a great alternative. Old leaves break down over time, which helps the organic matter build up. When you have a large property, this is a good option as it looks appealing without buying additional plants to cover the mulch. Mulch is important for gardening. Once placed, it helps existing and newly planted plants to grow so much better and more vigorously. This is Paul Plant from Subtropical Gardening. I'll see you next time on my time.